Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is cutting conditions. So the cutting conditions are actually a function inside of the tool table that uh, most people don't know what they do. So this video is an attempt to explain it. So um, oftentimes with a CAM software such as SolidCAM, you want to be able to have the software give you feeds and speeds for you. Now we don't have a feed and speed calculator, but what we do have is the cutting conditions. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so outside of iMachining, where when you provide your machine information and your material information, it calculates fees and speeds for you, we have something called cutting conditions. If I open up my tool table, and if I go to my tool data, you'll see cutting conditions. And this button is essentially just a place where you can add information about, let's say, a material. So let's just say, we'll call this material X. And then for material X, we'll just give it a name, we'll just call it X. And then the feed in XY, the feed in Z, the finishing feed, the spin, and the spin for the finish, and then a comment if necessary. And these are actually in inch per tooth units, each one of those. And then for the spin, it's surface footage. Now, we can put in values such as anything that would make sense for us in terms of inch, uh, inch per tooth. Now, in this case, I'm just going to put a number that we'll recognize. So, one, two, three, four, five. And let me just continue that for the rest of these. And we'll leave that as is. So, that is a cutting condition. And by checking that box, as soon as I click OK, this tool, tool one, now has inch per tooth for feed in the XY and feed in Z of one, two, three, four, or five inch per tooth. So this is a way that you can preload your, your, um, your feeds and speeds specific to a material in terms of inch per tooth. Now, this is different than the definition of the tool in that this is something that we can import for any type of tool. So for instance, if I go to tool three, you'll see that I'm currently, uh, I've currently defined tool three with 42 inches per minute. If I switch that to inch per tooth, it's uh, 35 tenths inch per tooth. Now, if I go to cutting conditions, I did not save my cutting condition, but what I'd like to show you here is if we go to the import button, there is a global list provided by SolidCam by default. And you can see that there's a bunch of materials on this list as well. So uh, I don't know what size this tool is, but I'm just gonna choose one of these at random. So let's just go down and let's see if we choose a three quarter inch HSS drill. It has these season speeds here. So I will check this box to import it to my active list. And then from this active list, say I imported a bunch of them, I would like to choose this in terms of cutting conditions for use on this tool. So I'll just click the green the check mark there, click OK, and now it has imported those cutting conditions to this tool. So it's not exactly a feed and speed calculator. What it is is you've got a, an additional layer of uh, information on your feeds and speeds from SolidCAM. Now to actually create that list, we'll just exit out of this tool, exit out of this file. We'll go to Tools, Solid Cam, Tool Library, and you'll see there's the cutting conditions right there. So this is the global library that we have control over. So again, here's the global list. I could add to that list and again, put in whatever I want in terms of um, material, inch per tooth for feed, inch per tooth for feed Z, inch per tooth finish, and so forth. So any questions on this or anything else from SolidCAM, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can submit us your parts or your, your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.